Just a never say die attitude. Uh, all the credit to the guys just staying in there and uh, until the last out. And uh, you know, all the credit to them. They never gave up. The guys kept pushing and uh, came out on top. It's back and forth pretty much the whole game. Uh, we battled. We uh, had, had a lot of good swings early, and we were just miss just missing those. And you know, I I felt, and I'm sure a lot of the other guys felt, that it was just a matter of time before you know some of our our good swings would start falling. Uh, and thankfully, they did. I mean, this this was awesome. I mean, this was uh, one of those games like you felt like a little kid. Um, we played, you know, we, we played a tough game. Uh, their pitcher, their starting pitcher, threw an outstanding uh, game, and we were, you know, we were behind the eight ball tonight. But um, I think this team showed a lot of a lot of character tonight, and um, really makes you feel good about uh, the rest of the second half because uh, we were down against a good pitcher. That Camden team is completely different than the first half, um, and for us to claw back and claw back and then tie the game, give up the lead. Um, and then beat one of the best closers in the league is just unbelievable. And I can't say enough about Joe Ash Brody. And this guy had one of the greatest nights in Ducks history, and he's having one of the best seasons in Ducks history. This, uh, this kid's amazing right now. You know what? He's been having success all year, whether I put him in the uh, two, three, four, wherever I put him. And now he's just uh, been magnificent in that leadoff spot, and he's been playing outstanding, not only offensively, defensively, running the bases. He's been doing it all for us. Uh, it was a great feeling. Once I once I knew it was going out, it was. I mean, walk offs are, are awesome. Anytime you get them, um, you know. I faced a guy at bat before, and he started me off with the first pitch fastball, and um, you know, I, I didn't swing at. It. I didn't think they were gonna attack me first pitch in that situation. And then with the bases loaded, I, I you know I knew they would try and get ahead, so I just tried to put a good swing on it and went out. Yeah, again, once the inning's over, they come in a dugout, you know, that's, this is our inning. You know, we kind of have that amnesia for that last inning and focus on the, you know, the task at hand, and uh, these guys never say die. Yeah, it's, it's just how we've been playing baseball. Even in the first half, we were struggling for a stretch, but we were still battling every inning, every pitch. And, I mean, I don't even know how many one-run ball games we lost in the first half, but... Uh, we fight, we battle until, until the game's over, until we have zero chances uh, of winning and we came up and we're able to get it done today. Well, you know what's amazing is like this team has been really gelling, really gelling like this last month and getting closer and getting more confident. And uh, you know, for a, for a walk-off win like this, a walk-off granny at home on a Friday night in the middle of July, it doesn't get any better. I mean, this team's feeling really good about itself. And you know, it's kind of ironic that Joe Ash is our new leadoff hitter. I mean, it it, it really does go with this kid. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just glad I'm along for the ride because uh, I think this team's gonna do some special things from here on out.